Today, I'm going to be giving you my review of the Fraser Cardigan by Love Notion. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the Fraser Cardigan by Love Notions. It's going to become a favorite. I've actually made three already, but I'm going to show those to you. But until I do that, I just want to say welcome. If you are have been a subscriber or a viewer, welcome back. If you are not a subscriber or this is your first time here, please uh, stick around. And if you like it, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I have a lot of fun things planned for this year. All right, so today we're going to talk about the Fraser Cardigan. So the Fraser Cardigan is a brand new uh, pattern that came out a week ago, I guess. Today is the last day to grab that $3 off sale if you want to do that. I think that goes till midnight central time tonight. Um, it is a wonderful pattern. I did make one for myself, which I will show you here. Um, this one was um, out of French Terry. And I also made a few, which I'll show you later, for my granddaughters for um, Christmas. <laughs> if you've been in my chats at all, then you know that um, lately things have been a little weird for everybody. But um, COVID went through my family, so we never got to have Christmas until um, Saturday. So we're all done with Christmas now. <laughs> but I haven't been able to take photos of the girls in their cardigans. But I do have them on a hanger to show you. So basically, I think you're going to really like this garment. Um, but I'm going to show you some tips on how to sew it well. <laughs> there are a few little tips and tricks. All right, so let's get straight to the skinny here and go to the details. All right, so this pattern is uh, the Fraser Cardigan, as I said. It comes extra small to 5X. There is a full bust option, which is wonderful. That means, girls, that your cardigan will close in front. Um, this one doesn't kind of close all the way, but it definitely will come and overlap a bit, which is fine by me because when it's cold outside and you want that warmth, you don't want one that only comes to here. So um, that's a real plus for me to have the full bust option. Um, the sleeves can be either hemmed or have a cuff. I prefer the cuff myself because then you can push them up if you'd like to. And there's also a hood option if you'd like to do that. What can I say? about this cardigan. It's so comfortable, depending on the fabric, of course. <clears throat> it's just the kind of garment you want to live in, especially when it's chilly out. So I feel like it's equally as nice in the springtime and fall uh, outside as it is in the wintertime inside when you just need something to take the chill off the air. Um, it's going to be 30 below wind chill factor here this week, so I'm sure I'm going to have mine out for sure. <laughs> it's just a really warm, cozy, pattern that I'm sure you'll wear again and again. And who doesn't love a topper? Um, it's wonderful to have a topper on to cover that backside. It does come down nice and low in the back, so that makes it really comfortable in that way. And it's just nice to have something to kind of throw on to um, jazz up an outfit when you really don't feel like getting super dressed up. As far as ease of construction goes, it's pretty easy to follow and it's, you know, like a card, like most cardigans, pretty quick. And uh, once you have the fit right, it's not too bad. The one thing I want to tell you, though, is that you can get mixed up with that band really easily because it goes around this way and then goes around this way. So you want to make sure the outside pieces stay on the outside. And it's real tempting to want to do the curve this way when you want to do the, you actually want to do the curve the other way. So. I found something to make it quite a lot easier just by um, using your dress form to drape it so that you know exactly where you need it. And then you can pin all the way around and know exactly where that outside edge is going to be. And um, it's not kind of like not where it's, you expect it to be. Um, you expect it to be on the wide edge of the neck and it's not. It's on the inside because it's where you hit your collar. So um, just be careful of that. Um, I will admit to sewing that wrong uh, as the first time, but I was kind of in a hurry to get Christmas stuff done. So you know how that is. But definitely um, drape it so that you can see exactly which way things are going. And I would just encourage you to definitely just take your time, uh, especially with the band, making sure that you stretch it where it's supposed to be stretched, 
and not stretched where you want more of a, a straight line and not any kind of a gather or pucker. So that is just something that I think bears a little bit of extra attention. Otherwise, it's super simple and there's no problem at all. I'd say this is for a confident beginner. I think if you have one or two projects, knit projects, under your belt, you will have no problem with this at all. As far as sizing, I mean, it's almost silly to put this category in here when it's Love Notions because, as usual, especially the new patterns, extra small through 5X. Really, there's hardly anyone that can't wear it. I made mine, and then I made two for my granddaughters. And so I've made us extra small, a small, and an extra large. Equally as cute in all sizes, I used three different fabrics, which we're going to talk about here in just a little bit. Very, very inclusive sizing, and I think that um, you won't be disappointed. If you're a plus size person, this is going to look great. If you're a very thin, small person, it's going to look great. Now, as far as materials needed, there's not much extra on a cardigan that you need other than, of course, the fabric and thread sewing machine. Serger, if you have it, is nice. Uh, but the only other thing you might want to have on hand is some kind of twill tape or uh, elastic, clear elastic, to stabilize your shoulders, just so they don't stretch out and become a problem in the wash and things. Mm -hmm. Anytime that you have a super stretchy fabric, you want to definitely reinforce those shoulders. Now, let's talk fabric. So I made mine out of a French terry and it was a rather thick French terry so it almost has a jacket feel so a little more structured. My younger granddaughter I made an extra small her favorite color is green and I had this lovely green if you can see here um, from Girl Charlie is a green emerald green with a black polka dots really really cute piece of fabric and uh, she loved it it fit her great as far as an extra small um, on a nine-year-old. Uh, she's kind of a tall girl for her age, so it worked out really well. This is a Jersey cotton blend from Girl Charlie. So it's more of a drapey, uh, not thin, but not thick either, um, kind of a fabric, that t-shirt fabric basically, very soft and drapey. The other one I made was out of a Hachi knit I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but H-A-C-C-I, I think it's Hachi Knit. And I made that for my older granddaughter. That's a size small. It fit her really well. If I had to vote on the three fabrics, I like them all because they, they just have different feels to them. But I think if you want a traditional drapey cardigan feel, you probably would like the Hachi Knit better than any of the other fabrics. However, if you kind of overheat easily, then you might want to use the something like the cotton jersey that I used on my uh, younger granddaughter's cardigan. So pretty much almost any type of knit will do, but just know that if it's a little bit more stable knit, you're going to get more of a jacket feel out of it. And it's probably not intended that way, so I would say the drapier knits might work a little better. Although I do love my French terry version. Um, I have been wearing it a lot because it's so cold here, so... Um, I guess it's just kind of up to you. So that is my review of the Fraser Cardigan. Don't forget that the sale ends tonight. This is Monday the 31st of January. So you still have a couple more hours to grab that for $3 off. And if you missed the sale or even if you didn't, you can always get 10% off at Love Notions by using the code DOROTHY10, D-O-R-O-T-H-Y 10. And that'll give you 10% off and it'll also help the channel. So I hope that that helps, and uh, I hope to see your Frasers online. Please post them in our Facebook group so we can all look at them and admire them together. Thank you so much. Take care. Happy sewing.